All right, so I'm going to reload. I've got some that are getting really, you know, almost empty. So I'm going to reload this before I put it away to move on to um, other projects. So tomorrow I'll be working on my journal and I need this space. I'm just going to start by taking it all out. So it looks like 168 I don't need to refill because there's no more of it so this must be just about what it's got um, 209 I know there was more of those that was a pink one where are you I thought I had more 209 guess not. 317. Um, so 318 is still pretty full. Um, so I'll take the rest of the 318s, put them away. Um, this is... 415, as you can see, they're printed on, maybe, the numbers printed on the little baggies. 415 is still pretty full, so I'm going to go ahead and put this one away. Four ninety eight. there's more in no more out there. Five fifty. All right, so five fifty. These little containers. I talked about them on the video the other day. Um, they're Daris. I hope I'm in. Nope, there I am. Um. So yeah, they just open like little Tic Tac containers, kind of. Um, each one of these containers will hold five. Of these little baggies. So I just open, get it prepared. I wrap them together and put them to one side. Cut the top off. Pour them all into the tray. I don't remember which one of these was super staticky. And then you just now if you really trust your skills, you can pour straight into your containers. I don't trust my skills at all. Um, so I will always use my tray. And like I said, in the one, I really love the ones that have the spout on them. Um, so I always use my hand to block the spout, like when I need to shake it, um, or when I'm picking up drills from this so that they don't spill out the spout. But, um, yeah, I prefer the ones with the spout. Makes my life easier. 600s, there's no more. 646, no more. 718. Um, so 718 is still pretty full. So put those ones away. 762, very full. So I don't need to refill those ones yet. Um, 814. Don't need to worry about it. 832 is very full. So 
So somebody had asked about like extra that you get when you do these kits. Um, you do end up getting a lot extra, um, surprisingly. I think maybe the next live that I do, I'll actually show you what it looks like, what all my, my extra space looks like um, that I store them all in. So 3607. That's 3608, 3609, 3607. So there's some in there still. So I would probably safely do four. I went and tried to put a fifth one in there because it makes it really hard to get the lid to close without spilling them everywhere. So again, just to make my life a little easier, I roll them together, give it a shake to get them all to one side, as best I can anyway. And then I snip, hold them in camera. Snip. Pour. And then refill. A sparkly. This one's going to be close. Another th thing you got to be wary of with these containers is this little dip right here. If there's a drill in the way, it'll prevent you from being able to close this. And a lot of times it'll pop the lid completely off. Um, makes for quite the mess. One of these was really, really staticky, and I can't remember which one. I'm thinking it might have been 209. Oh, yeah, see? the dirt With this one, see how much it sticks to the walls? Uh, there, there we are. How it sticks to the walls when I move it around. Those drills are really, really sticky um, or staticky. See, like this, I can roll this around. Oh, I get it. You know, I can roll them around and they don't stick anywhere. Um, so when you get ones that are really staticky, there's a couple different um, techniques that you can do um, to help you with that. The quick and easy way, um, but is not always the most effective, is to put these little baggies in the freezer. Um, for whatever reason, that does help with static. And what it is recommended that you do after that is to take a little piece of um, like dryer sheet or um, people say you can use paper towel, but I've not had much success with just using a paper towel. Um, I also don't use uh, dryer sheets. So I just stick them in the freezer. I just totally missed my garbage because my... Went to throw that plastic into my garbage and my fan caught it and flung it across the room. I, Me and this color, 3608, have a, a love-hate relationship. I've dropped my container twice, and so down by my feet is a whole bunch of these little pink beads everywhere. I probably could have fit one more in there, but that's okay. 3609. Ooh, I wish I could fit all three of them in there, but I think that would be pushing it. Oh, this one's a little staticky, but too late to do, do anything about it now. You see how much harder it is to get them out of the bag? 
um, they don't want to come out and they want to like bounce everywhere. Um, so I will just stick this part in the freezer and let them do their thing. And I have 3609 beads all over the place. Wish me luck that they don't go little jumping bean. Trying to transfer them. Oop, there went one. And they do. They kind of, they start bouncing around like almost like they have a life of their own when they have this much static built up in them. Um, so you can see them sticking to my, sticking to my fingers. I knew I had a really staticky pink one, but so as you can see, there's, I mean, I'm not even going to mess with the ones that are bouncing around everywhere. 3834. I will say that as long as I've been doing the diamond paintings, I personally have never run out. Um, Like I said, I've, I've got a huge stash over to my right. 3835 is the last color, and I can fit all four of those in there. From all the diamond paintings that I'd done before, and then leftover beads. And I have rounds and squares. Oh, this one's a little staticky, being a, being a bit of a... Woo! Thank you, fan. Blew that one right back in my face. All right, so we are all set it, set up, ready to rock and roll for the next time I pull these out. Tomorrow I will be working on uh, finishing up my journal cover. Well, I guess technically it's later today. Um, working on finishing up that journal cover. And I'm not sure what I'll do after that. I haven't quite decided. So join me tomorrow for another lesson in scrap journaling. Thanks for tuning in.